Hey guys, today I am going to talk about Alpha Investments and MetaZoo. I was definitely out. I was 100% out. And then Alpha Investments made a MetaZoo video. So I have to cover this because I have to conclude it. Did I ever think he would make this video? 100% not. And why did I think this? For the same reason he deleted his videos. And again, this is his words, not mine. He deleted the videos out of embarrassment. So if you watch the newest video, you will know that that is embar it has been embarrassing for him. And it, it makes sense, right? Uh, there were so many things where it was clear that this game was a scam. And he chose to ignore it until the very, very bitter end. And even in this video, he's hawking the $150 Alpha Investment promo. I'm sorry to tell Alpha Investment this, but there is a Chinese factory that will print that promo for five cents to me today. And it's just about how much, I mean, they have a very high minimal. Uh, so your card is not Seifu. Uh, it will, in, in the FTX or the uh, Bitcoin realm, there are the crypto realm, Seifu. It is actually not valuable because at any given time, there is a Chinese factory that is the official printer of this product. They have not been paid. Uh, Nick Strength and Pokemon has contacted them, and upon initial contact, Nick doesn't speak Chinese, right? It would be easier to speak with them on WeChat, which is what's happening with, between me and them. Uh, the guy was uh, more than willing to sell things to Nick. Uh, once Nick made the video and they realized, oh shit, the video has been made. We, we were trying to kind of print as much of this shit as we can. Yeah, that was the end of that conversation. And they told Nick, oh, well, we, we can't, we're not going to print anymore. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's not how Chinese companies in China work, guys. They're old money. It's, it's a very, very big bad thing. They're owed money and they have you buy the balls, right? They legitimately have your product. D your product, they have it. They have the official. So let me just read some comments from this because I think this would be great. MetaZoo returning successfully would have the same popularity of Wizard, uh, Wizard of the Coast turning MTG back into a single booster box per set with the occasional commander deck and premium masters horizon set. The haters said I couldn't do it and they were right. Honestly, a great call from the haters. The haters ball, the haters with the hard read. Rudy, I deleted some meta zoo videos. Me, no, the comments. Of course he did because he is a coward. Bro, I know, but the comment section was the best thing of those videos. I remember the first time I looked at Met up MetaZoo cards. I was furious and offended that anyone would like them. More sales after failure just means it is now priced correctly, in my opinion. It's priced correctly when the price is that of random cardboard. Are we in the laundry room now? TLD owner took the money and left the bag holders in shambles. Also, the Hello Kitty run fiasco. Never liked MetaZoo. It's the most shitty CCG I've ever seen, but sending death threats is an absolute no go. Whoever does this is worse than MetaZoo has been. I just came here for the folks. Favorite MetaZoo memory was when one of the artists added me to defend the art after I pointed out it was bad. After y'all know, looking at it with my eyes. <laughs> oh, jeez. This is particularly nasty. MetaZoo before, and this is actually on Alpha Investments' own video. MetaZoo before collapse, garbage. MetaZoo after clap, collapse, still garbage. One hundo, one hundo. This guy gets it. Rudy's taste in artwork is that of an 80 year old woman. The guy bought his lap dog to your house. Even in the Soviet Union, that's a red flag. <laughs> Problem is MetaZoo built a product instead of building a brand. The demographic was literally nobody and nobody played it. It ended up being 90% scalpers in an invest heavy panic period that made ground as a novelty at best. I know of no children who knew it. I know of no teens associating with this game. And I remember my nearby two car shops 
that had MetaZoo in stock, all Warwick associates had no idea what the game was, had never seen anyone play it, and did not know the story behind it nor hosted any game night or release party for it. You can't make something out of nothing, and the novelty art which was niche and hate love isn't enough to propel a TV show, a movie, a musical, a toy collection, a clothing line. It doesn't work that way at all, and it is literally insanity delusional. You have to build a brand, not buy a brand. It has zero basis to expand into anything because it didn't excel at anything. No one played it, no mainstream bought it in on it. It was friends from the beginning, probably borrowing mass lines of credit on or relying on whale investors after its first release. It was barely mechanically playable with zero com competitive scene, probably no risk or consumer assessment, yet rapid expansion re re releases for no reason other than to roadmap. I can go on forever with logic, data, experience, blah, 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 but the fact of the matter is the game sucked. I didn't get into it because of how people were being treated on his forums. This guy had it coming not knowing his customers. Still waiting for the details of the shutdown. All I know about MetaZoo was the art looked like garbage and it wasn't enough to make me pass on it. I don't regret that decision. Is Sorcery the next MetaZoo? If you are generally asking, most likely not. No, but Fab is. The only CCGs that have proliferated into shops in my area the last couple years is Locana and SWU, no fab, no sorcery, none of the various kickstarted game, launch games, and so on. The creator of Meadow Zoo sent me 10 sealed black sample packs. I forgot I had them until you uploaded a Meadow Zoo video over two years ago. I went digging for those packs and found them. I opened all 10 packs to find $65,000 worth of black sample cards. I sold the cards two weeks later on eBay for $60,000. I don't want to know what they are worth now, but imagine not very much. Shame how things went down in the end. I thought Mike was onto something. Zero number cards, hollows, cool themes, and gameplay. I actually played a game and it was rather fun. I still have several thousands of singles to play with in 20 or so boxes. I open one for fun from time to time. Does Rudy own the house from Scarface? So it looks like some people did make a lot of money from opening MetaZoo packs. And it looks like, uh, I mean, yeah, it looks like some people did make quite a bit of money. So not everyone was a loser, but the people who are, have the cards now, these black sample cards, they're probably nowhere near $65,000 today, which is what they paid for it. Anyone else getting Citizen Kane vibes? Crown Eater? Yeah, Crown Eater. Mike knew better than everyone. Big Ego. Been buying up. Okay, so that's it. We're going to continue re-comments in the next video. We're going to keep doing this.